Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. Glad you're here, Doc's here, and we are going to be covering Pinex. Um, basically, I've been looking for something to do some automated bot trading. I have some ideas and strategies I wanna do. I wanna test different things out. <clears throat> and doing my research and looking for different platforms, they're ones where you can implement for a certain amount of fee, or you could pay a flat, or someone will offer free, but they don't, they're very, very limited in what you can do. Some $20 a month, $30 a month, $100 a month, depending on how much, you know, what how you want to build it out. But I came across this, I, you know, it's there's no cost to it. I'm going to go into details. They have lots of different strategies, lots of great things. So we're going to cover all that here. But first, before we do, number one, thank you to each and every one of you here. I appreciate that. Some of you may never have seen me before. Some of you may be totally new. Some may have been before. And I'm just trying to cover more, more things. So do me a favor. Give this a like. Leave me a comment along the way. I'd love to know what you think and also about this. And I'm also any questions you have about it. I'm sure there will be questions. Also, if you haven't subscribed, cost you nothing. It's free. Just click the button. We'd really appreciate that. Mean a lot. Also, link below for this. If you want to sign up, I'm going to have a link here. Yes, it is a referral link, but it's not like some of these other DeFi projects. So we really appreciate would support the channel. So I'd appreciate if you want to try this, that you would use the link. Also, link below for the Telegram group. You can join there chat we'd love to have you we talk about a lot of things DeFi, macro trading trading bots all this kind of stuff so you're definitely welcome there we'd love to have you so without further ado let's get to it all right so i said this is pinex and this is pinex in the us they do have an international version it gives you um, a lot more features and futures and other things and derivatives that can't do here in the us which kind of sucks but it is what it is so if you're outside the us Lucky you, you will have those options. I do not. But as I said, I was looking for some stuff here. I just been trying them out very recently. I wanted to cover them now, show you the small little bit of what I have running right now, a couple of bots I have running. And you can have lots of different bots and they're free. But let's go into this. Who's Pinex? Who are they? We I mean, know there's a lot of fear right now with exchanges, centralized exchanges. So look at them up here on CoinMarketCap. So Pinex here, sorry, Pinex. In the last 24 hours, they're spot trading alone, so a $500 million. So it's a decent size exchange. There's a good amount of volume that goes on, good amount of trading. Uh, a little bit about them here is they're saying they have 13 different types of crypto trading bots. In the U.S., you have access to 11. Like I said, they won't let you do futures and some other derivatives here in the U.S., just not approved. Launched in 2019, they do the majority of their trading on Binance. They're based in Singapore, which is like crypto.com. A lot of exchanges are. I guess it's just better... You know rules or this there's obviously some reasoning behind it um but the but the best thing that i think about them is not only are the bots free but take a look at this they only charge a flat 0.05 percent fee on both makers or takers okay so basically going long or shorting etc whichever you do that's it they do have a few bots that will have 0.1 fee for a couple of coins maybe have lower liquidity different things they even have some buy um sorry bitcoin bots have zero fee you can trade the basically the volatility within bitcoin to be making profits and have zero fee so there's a lot of great things about it you can see the trading stuff here you know i, I understand with exchanges but i'm comfortable so far i'm testing this out i'm covering a few so i'm bringing it here to you so let's go back so as we say here it goes to create a bot i have my stuff here so number one let's just go through a few different things here so trade is exactly what it says um you have bot you have manual trades if you just want to make a trade yourself and you have the order books here you could take a look at here if you just feel like you know just like anything else kucoin etc if you're familiar with you have your swap where you can swap different tokens um this is what i did when i brought in some of mine so i'm going to explain that here in a second because not only can you buy or deposit fiat from your bank accounts or your debit card you can, with the wallets they have, and they have different wallets for different coins, you could trade in your existing um, coins. So what I did was I tra I transferred in some of my BUSD. I transferred in my actual Cardano that I had in cold storage. I transferred in some Bitcoin and ETH in cold storage um, to do some testing. So again, I I'll explain that here in a second, but it's pretty cool because I figure instead of letting them just sit there right now, and I'll explain which bot I'm going to go into. So I'll go into more of that later. But you have the great thing is you have a wallet that you can transfer into and you can do that. Um, so let's keep going through here for us for a second. We'll cover the bots here in a second. We'll come back to all of this. Um, we have staking. The only thing you can stake right now is ETH. But I'm just going to let you see that here. USD deposit because I'm in the US. You have a couple of options. Bank account, which you can connect your bank account and the 0% fee. 
And also the funds are instantly available for trading. You don't have to wait a couple of days for it to clear or be accessible to start using it. So that's positive. Debit card is instant, but they charge like a 2.99% fee. Um, and also you can wire transfer. So these are three options that you have there. You can deposit up to $2,000 a day with your bank account, 1,000 with a debit card. And I don't know what the wire transfer, I can care less. Markets, you can always track here and see what difference is going on with the markets, what the current prices are, how things are trading, trading volume, 24 hour change, et cetera. So you can see all that there. They have an academy, which is pretty cool. Um, they cover a lot of different videos. So the best bot to start trading is a crypto beginner. How I gain 31.68% Bitcoin with this bot. This one here, I, I have some stuff I like with that. I'm going to go into it. They have all different bots here and they have um, tutorials and videos to help you how to set up or give you some information on um, how to use each of these bots. So they have recordings, they have tutorials. They do try to help there. They have all their support, email, FAQ. They have a Twitter group you can join. I'll put the link below for their for their Telegram group as well. So if you want information, want to join there, ask any questions, definitely do so. Discord, Facebook, etc. So they have all of that there. So let's go back to trade here. Let's go back to the main amount. Um, let's go to wallet. Okay. So like I was saying before, I have a, some money I put in, as I mentioned, I have a couple of bots that I tried, you know, three, four, 500 bucks, depending on which one, just to try it out. I want to see how this works. Is it something that I think can make money in? Is it something that I think will be beneficial for other people to know about that could help them? Um, and so far, I like what I see. But I said, I literally only did this yesterday. So this is my testing, um, putting in three different bots. So you have an overview. Let's look, check a look at the wallet. Um, this is how much I have in there. This is like I say, you get deposit the amounts there. Wallet, deposit. So if I deposit, like anything else, okay? So this is some of the amounts I put in yesterday. I was moved into some BUSD in two different amounts. I'll move a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of my ADA, some more BUSD that I turned into ETH. Um, so I think I am going to be adding some ETH here shortly from my other parts, but I thought I moved in ETH. I guess I just converted my BUSD to ETH. But you can see here, whatever token you want, if you want to move in Tether, is it an ERC? Is it on Binance? Here's your wallet. Copy your wallet, transfer it over right from your MetaMask or from wherever, or your cold storage. Um, you want to transfer in Bitcoin? Here's your Bitcoin wallet to copy and paste. That's what I used here. Transfer in the Bitcoin. Of course, it's going to take a little bit longer because you got to wait for the blocks. To, ver to verify, I think it waits for three blocks to verify before that comes accessible. Some of these are pretty quick, some are a little slower. Same thing with my ADA that I moved over. So, you know, just a different amount here, but I like that it has this. They have video tutorials for everything. Um, so again, everything's there, Adjex book, taxes, et cetera, everything's here. But I wanted to cover that for you to see what it's about. So now that we've covered that, one of the things I want to do here is go into the different strategies. So here goes create new bot. Okay, and then I'm going to show you which bot I have. So I have a Bitcoin moon bot, which is 0% fee, basically buy Bitcoin and dips. Bitcoin growth bot, that's the one where basically they just saw that earn 31.68%. So what it's doing, it's trading there. I'm, a, I'm in a reverse grid bot. So we have grid trading, DCA, Martingale, dollar cost averaging in. Basically, you know you want to just keep buying and keep adding more and more over time. A rebalancing bot. So if you want to create your own index, if you want to always have X amount of, you know, if you always want to have a percentage, let's say you have $1,000 and you always want to have 40% Bitcoin, 40% ETH and 20%, I don't know, BNB or ADA or whatever coin you want. It will over time keep selling ones that have gone up more and buying the lower one to keep you in that range in the index. So that's something there if people want to do that. Infinity bot, earn profits while you're, while you're holding, huddling. Um, reverse grid bot. This is the one that I created right now. I'm going to cover this here before we wrap up to show you what I did and why. Smart trade bot. Set the buy price trailing, then take profit and stop loss price at one time. So you, very again, the good thing is if you know you want to do something, but you don't have the time to look at it and you don't want to miss it as crypto trades 24 seven because they're exchange. They said, hey, we'll create these bots for you. So basically you could just set it and forget it based on what your strategy is. Um, trailing sell, trailing buy, recurring buy, um, time weighted, average price and stop limit. So they have all these different bots here. So I have the reverse grid. So I'm gonna explain what this means. So I click, let's click on make believe we're gonna create it. So I have this running on Bitcoin, ETH and uh, my Cardano, ADA. So what happens is you deposit that coin 
okay if you don't have it you can deposit again fiat you could deposit a stable coin and convert it to that but you need that to start the bot so the reverse grid is very simple here okay if i click on tutorial it'll give you a whole breakdown a whole amount here how to create it there's a video talking about it when it's appropriate to use um, but basically this is when you feel the price is going to be coming down and you want to increase here brief explanation what is the reverse grid explanation is the goal is to increase the number of tokens held by the bot and reduce the cost of holding the bot okay so if you feel like i feel right now we're a little bit overbought a little bit too much fomo i think there's gonna be some pullback i don't know how much i'm not sure but that is my objective so instead of me just selling the tokens now because I, you know, I could just sell now and take a profit and wait and wait for it to come back down. I could be wrong. It might still go back up. You know, that's the whole point of trading different things. Um, and you really can't increase anything when you're when you're holding, right? When you're hodling, you can't do anything. But this will take advantage of the fluctuations as it goes down to increase your, the amount you own. So it says here, when you judge that the market is about to fall, you might as well take the currency in your hand and open a reverse grid. Sell the currency at a higher price and you buy it back at a lower price. This will continue to shake arbitrage, reduce your holding costs. When the market is in a bear market, you can also open a reverse grid with the coins in hand to earn more coins while you wait for the arrival of the bull market. So why not keep increasing the, your holdings of your coins and increasing your bag? Because I only think this is temporary. Long term, very bullish. Long term, I believe in Bitcoin and all the top, um, you know, all the top blue chips out there. But right now, I think we're a little bit overbought. So why not take advantage of it? So that's what I did. That's what I opened. Definitely read through this here. Definitely watch the video. You know, I don't want this to go on and on forever, but I have it there. So what you do is you, you they'll show you the chart. You can show you the four hour chart. You go back to the daily chart, the weekly chart. You pick anything you want to give you an idea of where pricing action is, right? So you set your lower limit. You set your upper limit. Basically means the lower limit. So the upper limit is the highest it'll sell at. So if it goes above that limit, the bot just won't activate anymore. It won't keep buying higher and higher. Because if you think the price is going lower and it's going to keep selling higher because it keeps going up, it's really going to go against you. So you set the upper limit. Then you set the lower limit when you want it to stop um, basically buying back. So you set these. Then you have grids. Grids here, basically, let's just pretend. So let's say I put 25,000 as the upper limit. I don't want to buy anything above 25,000 because that I feel the breakout point and it'll keep running if it does that. Lower limit, what do you think the lower limit Bitcoin could hit? Eh, let's say 21,000, okay? Grids, basically is how much do you want it to do? How much profit do you want it to take while it's sitting in that trade? Meaning how much of a swing? So there's risk and rewards here. The less grids you have, it could have a three, if you put, okay, if I put five, it's gonna have a 4%. If it moves 2%, it won't book the profit because I only have four, five grids. It's gonna wait to at least be within this range to book the profit. Now, if I put the max 150, it'll take all these micro little profits along the way and buy and sell and buy and sell in these micros of a third of a percent. Or I can say, give me a hundred grids. We're gonna have to take a percent of between 0.6 and 0.9. So you decide how many you think it should have. The less number you have, the more swing the price will be before it books a profit. So depending on what you think, you can play with this. And you can end the bot at any time, redeploy it, by switching up your strategy. You can do all that stuff there. And then, of course, how much you want to put into it. You slide it over, and boom, you're done. And then, of course, if you want, you can have advanced settings where you can have a trigger price, you can have a stop loss, and you can have close the bot. So if you want to close the bot at an X amount of dollar amount, if you want to have a stop loss amount, you could have all these things here, slippage control, grid mode control, investment, BTC only or both, et cetera. So you can do all these different things here. So again, your adjustment and your change of these, and you can have lots of bots running. There's no limit how many bots you can have running. I'm going to explain to you why I have this bot. So let's take a look at mine now. Okay, so now I'm at my trading bots. So right now I'm down. This has been open for almost a day. I'm down a little less than 1% so far on my ADA because the ADA price has been holding up here. So I put the upper range of $0.42. Cents. 
because at 42 cents, based on some of the charts and other TA and technical analysis of things I've been seeing, shows that it would run up higher, maybe to 50 cents if it breaks that upper range. So I hit that upper range as stopping, and my lower range would be about 31 cents. You just pick whatever amount you want to trade in. So if it, tra if it goes only down to 30, if it go, the point of this is if I put 38 cents and it goes below 38 cents, it stops operating and it waits to get back into the 38 to 42. So you can have a wider range, it's okay. But the upper range sometimes in this kind of reverse one, I think is more important. So you can see here is I'm bearish ADA, but I want to earn more ADA. So it's so far had has done 19 transactions. It's locked in a profit of 0.04. And it has right now unrealized profit or unrealized loss of almost a one percent so this is how much is earned so far if you annualize it this is what it would be as of right now it's only been one day but it's waiting to lock in i could stop this at any time and just cancel it out take my coins back take my one percent loss and move on not a big deal i can release the profit which won't work in some of these but some do allow that or i could share it or you could show someone hey i'm in this bot and maybe you know it's just a way to promote it and show it um and it probably has a referral link something like that too so you have that there in my bitcoin one i'm up a third of a percent so the same thing here this is the current price i set an upper price range of 25.5 low price range of 19. this is the where it's currently at now so right now it's locked in this profit as an unrealized profit of this so this is how much is booked annualized gain and what i have unrealized if it took that profit now i'd be at 143 percent annualized return on this particular bot which of course I'm not going to leave all year because I don't think Bitcoin's going to be going down all year. But the whole point is again making money in these ranges. So in a regular grid bot, you're earning USD, you're earning a dollar. You just it's a trading bot or your stablecoin USDT, um, USDC or USD for, you know, for me in the US or wherever your whatever your fiat currency is. So you're really just trading the bot and you're really having the bot parameters. You're just having it run because you just want to earn your cash or stable that's what you're really trying to earn you're not really trying to trading it to earn the coin you can convert the coin into the app you can convert the stable coin or the fiat that's in there into the coin and then take it to your wallet if you want and transfer it out i mean that's always an option of course but in this one i want to earn more i'm long-term bullish ada i'm long-term bullish bitcoin i'm long-term bullish eth but i think temporarily there's going to be some pullbacks that I could take advantage of so why not try to earn more while i'm taking advantage of these pullbacks and then later close the bot turn it around and go along with it um, or just put them back into my cold storage and sit on them you know for the time being or look to sell them at that point you know there's ones you can make money on the way up to go along with etc so there's all those options so again the same thing here i'm down less than one percent on an eth bot right now it's done a total of 37 transactions in this bot so it's been very active it's locked in this little bit here right now unrealized is down about one percent um, this one's been active for almost a full day now i could stop this and start it up again maybe i want to change the grids maybe i want to change the price like i put a price for eth upper end of 1705 because i thought in that one that would be a breakout point looking at some of the where the candle wicked that would keep going up to maybe push to 1900 2000 lower range of 1400s i feel that would be um a good floor or a good place where it might ultimately go down to before it goes back up i believe that kind of pullback is possible especially if macro and the stock market and all the risk on starts crashing these are going to come down and pull back just as quick with them but why not earn more of the coin that i feel long-term bullish on while taking advantage of them coming down you can't do that when you're hodling if you're just holding a coin you can't take advantage of it coming down so that's what i love about this bot and these bots is that i can earn more of the coin and take advantage of the pullback if the pullback happens I, i'm betting that it is and if it doesn't then i'll close the bots no big deal and i'll go long so with my three bots that are running right now, I have a total of like almost $1,800. Again, I was trying to put in about four or 500 bucks each for the three to try them out, see what happens, watch the market, watch the fluctuations. I think this is a bear market rally. Um, it's a FOMO rally. There's been tons of people out there showing and saying the same thing, a lot of things going on. So I, there's nothing in the macro, and we have inverted yield curves. We have all the playing around with the numbers. We have the U.S. job numbers came out today. were super strong. They were expecting to be lower, which means the Fed has to keep raising. Inflation is going to stay very high. Um, there's so much that's going on that I think this is not sustainable right now. But hey, I, I loved it, but took advantage of it because I was making money on the way up. But now I want to try to take advantage on the way down. So in closing, I hope you found value here. I hope there's something that you think you want to check out. 
I like it. I'm going to be reporting back on how mine are doing and also some of the other ones I'm going to try and get into. Again, the Academy is great. They have lots of great tutorials and videos to watch and breakdowns of how to set up your bot or certain strategies, what the strategy means based on what your objective is. And again, the bots are free. The trading amount is super small, 0.05%. The bots are free. They don't charge you for it because they want you to trade on the exchange, right? So think about it. They're giving you free bots on strategies to take advantage of different, diff you know, your outlook and different moves of the market. And of course, they along the way benefit because they're making money from the trading fees. So it's a win-win in that respect. And where else are you going to get a free bot? I think so far, you know, as much as possible that they're pretty safe on exchange. You know, you never know, but they even have here, you know, no exposure FTX you see here in the bottom. So again, I have a link in the description to check them out. If you want to sign up and do that, I would really appreciate using the link. Um, it would help and definitely benefit the channel there. So much appreciated. Also subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I kind of rambled a lot here, but I wanted to cover this and give this a good overview. Future follow-ups will be much shorter. I'm going to do basically just the specific strategies to cover those specific strategies for those who want to cover those. But I wanted to cover the vert reverse one because that's where I personally feel and that's where I'm in right now. So not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great weekend. And as always, here is to your success.